Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you are watching this next episode of my Minecraft series. And today, we have achieved loads. Last time, we've made all of that enchanted armor, and I have now made loads more. We are properly protected for when Zor comes and has a go. But before we do what we're going to do today, we have to put someone in the make space. And I'm going to put two people in the make space today because they both deserve it. They've both been waiting far, far too long. And those people are... Oh, Mischief of Mice, superb gaming channel. Those guys are great. I've already reviewed them on my other series. You've got to go and take a look at them. And Justin M Gaming, thank you very much for all of the support you've given me for the last couple of months. It is a pleasure to know you. Thank you both. Right, so that's my bum. Stop looking at my bum. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm actually feeling just a little bit exhausted from all of this making of armor and making of enchanted weapons i've made so much it is unbelievable you would not believe it i've made so much stuff and i'm going to go and show you just as it starts to get dark so let's get over there quickly before all the nasties come out although i'm not scared of them because i've got enchanted weapons now and no one is going to defeat me whoop scepter can't get out of the door apparently the door is going to defeat me so let's just get my little doobie flip up there we go so we are now running. I'm going to put my sword in my hand. As you know, I'm going to put my enchanted shooty arrow thing in my hand. It's called a bow. Avo. Congratulations on remembering that small three-letter word. Let's get ourselves over to where I've got all the enchanted stuff. It's very exciting. Don't fall down the hole because you can't get out. So we have to go past where we enchanted everything. And we are going to go in here. And you can see in the window, it looked like there was a little army in there. Well, there's not. But what there is is lots of armor and lots of weapons we're gonna go or bashing yeah it's gonna be brilliant look at this this is awesome i'm so pleased there's loads and loads and all of it is different enchantments so i can kind of select what it is i want to go and hit people with whether i'm going hitting mobs or whether i'm hitting zor himself it is going to be awesome right but before we go on our adventure today we've got to get some sleep so let's just get ourselves back to our bed I've got a feeling all of this ground here where I've laid in the light in to try and stop the mobs spawning inside Plains Mansion and the, the village because if Oak Village gets overrun with nasties I'm absolutely certain that Zor is going to be controlling them anyway. There we go, so night night. Evermans, Evermans, I'm coming to you across the dimensions. I have to be very fast because the gods are watching me. They know I'm trying to help you and they don't want me to. They said things have got to play out. I think that's crazy. So I'm coming to you in your dream. This is not a dream. This is me. I'm going to tell you the first things you got to find to help you defeat Zor. The first things are going to be easy, but they're going to get harder as you go along. Evermance, you got to go find yourself a jungle. There's a jungle far away from here. Get yourself three jungle woods and three cocoa beans. And whilst you're there, take yourself some fish. I hear there's loads of cats in those jungles. You can catch yourself some. Take care of those creepers for you. Remember this, Avamance. Remember, go get yourself jungle wood. Jungle is where to go. I'll see you again in another dream. Goodbye, Evermance. Rest well, son. Oh, 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 that was really, really very, very odd. I'm sure I saw the hermit and he told me it wasn't a dream, you know, with the magic that he had the other day. I think I've got to believe it's real. What do you think? Do I have to go to the jungle? I don't know where there's a jungle. There's no jungle anywhere near here. That could be a really, really long journey. But you know what? I think I'm going to have to do it. It's time. It's time to pack a bag and get going for the jungle. I'll see you when I've got everything I need. So here we go again. It is time for us to go for a really, really what I suspect to be long wander. And I'm not entirely sure which direction we're going to go. So we're going to go in the opposite direction to the last time when we went on holiday. Because I think that's probably best. We didn't come across the jungle going that way. So maybe the jungle's the other way. So let's give it a go, shall we? We're going to go in this direction. Here we go, this could be a long one. I've got loads of stuff in my inventory. You can see here, look, I've got some wood, some dirt, loads of arrows, a bucket of water, three beds. I've got some glowstone, plenty of food, some string, some coal, and I thought a slime block, just in case I wanted to make it easy for me to fall from a great height. 
and it's really normally the way that I die, falling from a great height, so maybe I can stop that. So here we go. Well, we have traveled just about 2,000 blocks in one direction and we haven't seen any sign of any jungle yet. I know 2,000 blocks isn't really that far, but I'm absolutely exhausted. And I think, given that we're going to a jungle, it's probably a good idea to stop, have a rest, do some fishing, get some fish, because the hermit did say, I need some fish, get some cats, and that will perhaps, perhaps, perhaps arm me necessarily to get what I need to get. So I'm gonna put up a little cottage here it can be a little way station, my 2,000 block stage. And uh, I will see you in the next video, hopefully, by which time we'd have found some jungle. Jungle, I don't think I've ever been in the jungle. Really strange. If you enjoy the video, leave it a thumbs up, hit that sub button, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers then, bye. Is we have got four chicken spawners. One, two, three, four. And they are in, basically, a compartment that is one block high, and is full of water. But if we put that there, the water gets blocked off by the sticky pistons pushing these iron blocks out of the way. And that then allows chickens to spawn. And once the chickens have spawned, you can see they've already started to spawn there. If the water then flows along again, that pushes the chickens under those blocks and sticky pistons there. So then what happens if I activate those, they push the chickens under the water, the chickens drown, 